Good morning, Bangkok. Today's outfit. Of course, won't forget my pony. What is an actually vlog without food, right? Good morning. I woke up early and I got a little time for breakfast. On the bad diet. Hi, Ia. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Fears. What's happening? What's going on? <laughs> Hi, Ian. The reason I am here in Thailand right now. With Ia, my videographer, because PlayStation brought me here along with these guys in the back to play a really cool game. Actually, two games. One of it is Days Gone. And I really appreciate, I appreciate this warm weather. So, our team has been working on Days Gone for the past six years. This will be uh, the very first kind of group of people to play that section. So, we're very excited for you to try that out. So this is a collector's edition. Uh, this one is the, the product that we are very excited about. It's prices for Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and the uh, Philippines. Today's going will be available on April 26th. I'm about to play Days Gone on the PS4 and I am one of the first people in the world to play this particular chapter. Kinda excited. Let's go. Left. So the zombies in this game are called freakers and they're actually not zombies. Parang mga baliwulang na mga tao. Kasi kailangan para nilang matulog at kumain, basically, mga baliwulang. Oh no! Uh, gotta move! I'm flanking you! What? Got ya. Uh-oh. 
camera and then on graphics I can't say it enough. Oi! Grabe naman. Bakit? Ba't ba't ganoon? Ba't ganoon? Huwag mo kasunugin. Ho! Ho! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Wow! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Roll away! Roll away! Roll away! Roll away! Roll away! I feel like I was the only noisy one. Oh, that was you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi guys, I am with Mr. David Lee, and the community manager at Pet Studio for Days Gone. Do they have any message? the fans who are eagerly waiting for the game. We're just so excited for people to actually gonna be playing our game on April 26. You know, our team has been working on it for over six years. Mm -hmm. And I think one thing players will really appreciate is that everyone's experience will be different, you know. We have like 30 hours of storyline, but once you jump into the open world, you know, you can be just riding your bike and you can be clotheslined by humans or a runner will chase after you or just like, there's so many different things that happen in our game. I think you'll have a lot of fun with this. Don't forget April 26. Now it's time for another game. I'm trying Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Ian told me to count how many times I die. Let's see. So I just got out of that event. I played two hours of Days Gone and around two hours also of Sekiro. For Days Gone, I instantly got hooked. I really loved that it was open world, that you could go anywhere and complete missions outside of the storyline. Also, one thing I noticed about it is that the voice acting was very good. It kind of felt like watching or playing a very well-directed movie. And I'm very particular with this kind of stuff and it's really, really awesome. For Sekiro, um, all I can say is that the game is ridiculously challenging and it kind of reminded me of the Souls games 
yes, it's that difficult to play. And I'm sure it would appeal to you guys who love a challenge. I love that the protagonist's name is Wolf. I also love that the game is in Japanese. They only put subtitles to it, they didn't translate it. It's fun to play if you have the time and the patience. Overall, this event was really, really fun. Thank you so much to PlayStation Asia for always having me and bringing me to these events of theirs, to these game launches and media events. Always, always grateful to PlayStation Asia. Be sure to watch out for these two games coming out very, very soon. Super exciting. So yeah, happy gaming guys and thank you for watching this video. Bye!